Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study about the kinetics of anionic polymerization. In the last class, we studied about the mechanism of anionic polymerization. Now, we will be looking into what kinetics of anionic polymerization. We know that the first step involved in any type of polymerization is the initiation. The next is the propagation and finally, you have a termination. Okay, now we will see the initiation step. Okay, initiation. Now, in the mechanism, what did we see? I have a mechanism here. Okay, this is the mechanism part that we have already studied. You needed a catalyst, right? So, this is what a catalyst we have chosen and that will attack your monomer. Well, now in the kinetics part, we are not writing the, uh, you know, uh, like this NH2 or the monomer. Instead, we will represent that by some letters, okay. The first, uh, you need to take the initiator, okay. Let me take, uh, this is the initiator, okay. Okay, once you have an initiator, then you need to dissociate it, okay. So, KD means what? It is a dissociation constant, dissociation constant so ia means it is an initiator okay now we need to dissociate it means you will get i positive and a negative okay so it will convert it into the ion pair okay ion pairs what did i do i took the initiator and dissociated to get my ion pair okay here i plus a negative okay so now just comparing this to my uh, catalyst here okay this is a catalyst i have taken nh2 minus so this a minus is there no that will represent my what nh2 okay a minus is representing my nh2 negative okay what is I plus i plus is some counterpart that is present along with the anion okay is this counter ion okay you did not write all this thing for your explanation or understanding purpose i am just comparing this a minus to the nh2 negative okay once you got the ion pair i plus a minus what happens it will attack your monomer okay monomer i take m okay m means what monomer so what happened when you uh, have the uh, ion pair that attacks the monomer coming back to here this is this was your catalyst and this is your monomer okay i am not taking the example here i just written m here okay now whenever it attacks the carbon the pi electron will shift to this carbon that means the monomer now get what negative sign okay the nh2 get attached to this monomer and the monomer or at the end of the monomer chain there is a negative sign correct so I am writing the same thing that is I plus A M minus okay that is this is attacking this okay monomer as a result monomer now get the negative sign okay let K I be the uh, you know rate constant for the initiation step okay what is K I it is the rate constant okay K I is the rate constant for the initiation step okay once you return ki next you need to write the rate okay the rate of initiation the rate of initiation is given by rate constant that is ki into concentration of your uh, reactant okay here you have monomer okay uh, there are two reactants so you need to write the concentration of those okay now i am writing only a negative why because I know that here A negative is attacking M. Okay, what is I plus? I plus is just a counter ion that will be present along with your anion. Okay, but we are considering or uh, it, this is our uh, you know interest. This is attacking the monomer. So I am just considering only that. Okay, if you write I plus here, no problem, you can write it. Okay, so I take it as equation number one. This is the initiation step. Okay, next you have the propagation step okay propagation step in propagation step what happened this which one this will attack the another monomer so that this negative charge will shift to that monomer correct 
growth of polymer chain will take place. Okay, A, M minus. Okay, I written the same thing. I am taking the another monomer. So that what happen? This negative sign over here will shift to this monomer. I plus A, M, M minus. Okay, once again this will attack with another monomer. What happen? The growth of the polymer chain will take place. M, M, M negative. Okay. Well, now if you take uh, uh, n number of monomer, okay, I will write here only or else I will write here i plus a m m m minus I am taking n number of monomer. Then what happen? i plus okay, a m there are 3 m then m n or you can uh, uh, write like this n here negative okay so that means uh, on the last monomer okay m means what here last monomer on that monomer uh, uh, you have the negative sign okay let me call kp as the rate constant here okay kp means what it is a rate constant for the propagation step okay once you return the rate constant you have to write the rate of propagation okay rate of propagation i call it as rp Okay, RP means what? Rate of propagation is given by KP. Okay, the rate is equal to rate constant into concentration of your reactant. That is what the general form. So, RP is equal to KP into concentration of your monomer. So, no, sorry, not reactant. So, here you need to consider what and all. You can write uh, the concentration of this and concentration of this. Okay, you can write, but... Anyway, to make it simple, I write only M minus from this side, okay, because this is attacking the monomer, correct, plus, oh sorry, into concentration of M, okay, you can consider this also, okay, you have two reactants, here what is attacking this monomer, having negative sign is attacking another monomer, right, so you need to consider only this, okay, if you consider this, no problem, but uh, your uh, final equation the little complex that's it okay i call it as equation number two okay this is what the propagation step is the final step we have is the termination step wherein the growth of the polymer chain stops okay so i write uh, the this one or anything you can write i plus a m m m n m minus okay i written the same thing okay this one only i written here then what i need to do we know that anionic polymerization cannot be terminated as such there must be some impurities present okay in the mechanism part what what did we do this is the mechanism part uh, where is my termination step okay this is what the termination step i have taken this impurity Okay, this is what the impurity I have taken ammonia and also I said that whatever the impurity you have taken that must be having hydrogen in it correct so I write my uh, impurity as HA okay what is HA HA is nothing but ammonia in the mechanism part okay ammonia okay that is containing H you no know? and also if you you know open this you have H in NH3 and also you have NH2 minus okay that is why I have written A here because what is my A here A negative A negative is nothing but NH2 negative no that is why I have written H this H and this is my A correct so I written H A okay now what happened this thing or this growing polymer chain abstract or absorb and hydrogen from here correct so a m m m n m h okay this will abstract the hydrogen from here and you will get what your catalyst correct so if you are not sure just go back to your mechanism part and understand the mechanism correctly then come to the kinetics Okay, so here you can see this is a growing polymer chain. This is abstracted the hydrogen from ammonia and you left with what? NH2 minus. So, what is my NH2 minus? A minus, right? 
so a minus and along with that counter part also comes that is i plus or uh, a minus i plus okay this is what the counter part okay now let me call k i as a rate constant for the termination step okay once as you return the rate constant what's the next step the rate the rate of termination rate of termination let me call it as r uh, t okay r t means what rate of termination it is sorry it is k t okay rate termination no k t so this is k t into concentration of this now what to consider you can consider all this or you need to consider which is attacking which so here which is attacking this is consider right this is abstracting this m minus is actually abstracting hydrogen from here so i consider m minus from this part and i need to consider this h a because h a means what together it is nothing but ammonia it is in a molecule right so that is why i need to consider that okay so let me call it as equation number 3 okay now we know that okay we know that at the steady state that means at equilibrium steady state is nothing but an at equilibrium okay the number of chain initiated is equal to number of chain terminated okay so this is the thing we already have so at a steady state or at equilibrium so how many chain that has been initiated no so that must chain must be terminated at equilibrium so i need to equate ri okay the rate of rate for the initiation and termination here so rt okay now what i do i substitute uh, from equation number 1 and 3 here okay i have ki concentration of m concentration of a minus rt from the equation number 3 okay kt concentration of m minus concentration of h a okay from this equation okay from this equation you can write here from equation number what 1 and 3 okay so from this equation i am writing concentration of m minus okay i have concentration of m minus here so i need to bring this and this here so ki concentration of m concentration of a minus divided by kt concentration of h a hope you are getting to know so i am writing concentration of m minus i am just brought to this and this term to the denominator set okay i call it as equation number 4 okay now from equation number 2 from the equation number 2 see the equation number 2 where is our equation number 2 so yes this is our equation number 2 okay from this write the concentration of m minus equal to okay what do you get concentration of m minus equal to rp divided by what kp into concentration of m okay this is from equation number 2 concentration of m minus is equal to rp divided by this and this correct so i written here now i take it as equation number 5 now what you do just equate this and this that is equating equation number 4 and 5 equating equating equation number 4 and 5 what we get see we get Okay, first you write the equation number 4 and 5. So, Rp is divided by Kp concentration of M is equal to Ki concentration of M concentration of A minus divided by Kt into concentration of H. Okay, from this what is Rp is equal to? Rp is equal to Ki and you need to uh, take this here no so i just write kp concentration of m concentration of m concentration of a minus by kt concentration of h into a okay what did i do i just cross multiply that's it now there you can see there are two m concentrations so i can write it as ki kp concentration of m square a minus divided by kt concentration of h into a this is your rp okay this is your final expression okay then you can also oh, you know 
or write the equation for dp that is degree of polymerization it is given by rate of propagation by rate of termination we know from the equation number 2 and 3 substitute uh, from 2 here 3 here okay kp concentration of m concentration of m minus and uh, for the rt what we have uh, kt m minus concentration of h e okay this is from the equation number 3 this is from equation number 2 m minus m minus cancel up cancel kp concentration of m kt concentration of h e okay this is the degree of polymerization of anionic polymerization okay this is all about kinetics of anionic polymerization if you have any doubt in this part okay if you have any doubt in the kinetics of anionic polymerization please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching